Just because the boat is safely back on the trailer doesn't mean the challenges are over. We live up a steep narrow road and I have to back the trailer through a narrow gate and then between two barns before the boat is back in its normal resting place. I start the turn when the trailer wheels are adjacent to the grassy knoll that I want to turn around. It's really important to know the turning radius of your truck and trailer, so practicing in an empty parking lot when you first get the trailer is a good idea. The hardest part with this tow is the 38 foot mast 10 feet off the ground. It extends far behind the trailer, so knowing how it swings around corners is critical. There's a streamer to warn cars driving behind us. I'm alone here, but having a spotter is a good idea for new trailers or new places. The mirrors are the widest part of this truck and tow, so I know that if I'm going in a straight line, if the mirrors will clear, so will everything else. Now I need to carefully steer the mast between some very tight roof lines that are lower than the height of the mast. Knowing how the mast swings around corners is critical. I use the big rock beside the barn on the right as a reference mark for my turn. Small steering adjustments are also much better than big adjustments. This is one place where less is more. The mast gets really close to those roof lines, but as long as it clears, we're all good. That's pretty close. That rock is a really helpful reference because it sticks out as far as the roof. Using reference marks like this in familiar locations is really helpful. I use the barn on your left as another useful reference. Yes, the hardest part is over now. Thanks for your help, Mr. Rock. Now we just need to straighten out and we're good. A longer trailer is actually easier to back in a straight line than a shorter trailer because it's less likely to jackknife. Now I can relax. 